Hi, this is Nanette Hosenfeld with the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Wednesday, July 1st, 2015. The main impact over the next few days is drier air that will be moving into the Great Basin from the north. By this afternoon, that dry air will be uh, to about the Utah-Idaho border, and by tomorrow afternoon, it will have made its way into northern Utah. This dry air will continue to advance southward through Friday. The main concern with the dry air is the increased potential for holdovers. Across the rest of the Great Basin where moisture remains in place, showers and thunderstorms will develop again this afternoon. There was quite a bit of lightning yesterday. Uh, it's a pretty impressive map here on the right showing all the lightning strikes. And with the storms that brought the lightning, there was also a fair amount of precipitation. You can see in the image on the left that's showing the pre precipitation amounts. Uh, many areas in the Great Basin saw around half an inch to an inch of precipitation with these storms. With all the lightning activity, there was quite a bit of fire activity yesterday as well, and you can see there are quite a few new, store, new fire starts across the Great Basin. The water vapor satellite shows high pressure systems sitting over the Great Basin, and this will slowly move west or, westward over the next couple of days. With the really hot weather we've seen over the past week or two, fuels are continuing to dry across the Great Basin. Relative humidities will trend downwards across much of Idaho this afternoon with that drier air moving into place. As I mentioned a moment ago, we will see showers and thunderstorms develop again this afternoon across the Great Basin. However, that storm coverage will be further south than we saw yesterday. That drier will continue south into Utah tomorrow afternoon, and as a result, showers and thunderstorms will increasingly become confined to this southern part of the Great Basin. Relative humidities will also drop and uh, will be at critical levels across portions of the Great Basin. On Friday, that dry air remains in place, and you can see that showers and thunderstorms further move southward. Relative humidities will also decrease. On Saturday and Sunday, moisture begins to increase across the Great Basin. Uh, this monsoonal moisture will bring an increased chance for showers and thunderstorms this weekend. That moisture remains in place on Monday, and then by Tuesday, it looks like there is a potential for some drier air to make its way back into the Great Basin. ERCs have been trending downwards over the past few days, and this is likely due to the stormy weather that we have seen. Current fuel conditions in general across the Great Basin are decreasing. Uh, most stations are reporting fuel moistures at or below normal for the time of year. However, the site in western Nevada displayed here, the sagebrush long doctor site, uh, you can see is above normal for the time of year. The 8 to 14 day outlook calls for temperatures above normal and precipitation across normal over much of the Great Basin. So that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Our information is on the screen and you can also find us on Twitter. Thanks.